Hey folks, new week, new you don't know Jack. Episode 33, let's go. And 30 seconds, people. Well, howdy, I'm Donnie. Won't you please informatate me how many players we have? I will informatate you, there is one player. All alone? Here's hoping some jaunty trivia can fend off the crushing loneliness. What's your name? No. Really? You have no name? How on Portugal? Let's see. Now your name is Tickles. Tickles. Just because... That works. Excellent. Now let me tell you how to get playful. Many questions will prevail themselves upon you. You need to wingle out the correct choice and impress the boutonniere next to it. There is a timer that's tick tockling away. That means the sooner you are to buzz in, the more De Niro you'll make. <laughs> or revanquish. We're almost at go. Ten seconds. Bon voyeur. Can I get a Wimbledon check? <laughs> Six. <laughs> five. Go to black. I don't think they hit that right, fast at Wimbledon. Larry the leopard, part sold separately. Hey, Cookie here. The best three years of my life were those spent as a senior in high school. Things make sense now. Playing by yourself? Well, at least you won't come in second. And your this is true. answer of the game is being sponsored by Bob's Knob Shop. The prices will have you slobbering over Bob's Knobs. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> I wonder how long it took him to record that before he could do it with a straight face. Let's begin with a snack of mythic proportions. Which mythological creature is more complex than a Flipside's brand half cracker, half pretzel? The Minotaur, a Satyr, the Chimera, or a Centaur? Uh, the only one that's got more than two parts is a Chimera. While the others are a combination of only two creatures, the Chimera is three things. Half lion, half goat, half snake. Wait, yeah, that sounds right. So flip sides are totally beneath the Chimera. He pretty much just eats Neapolitan ice cream. I would too. Next up, well, Mr. Wonka, you have diabetes. Aww. What would it mean if Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory received a golden lion instead of a golden ticket? He's been elevated to the status of Tibetan royalty, an African prince wants his hand in marriage, shogun warriors have sent him a death threat, or his film won Best Picture at the Venice Film Festival. I have no idea. Golden lion. Let's go with Tibet. No. Ready for this? At the Venice Film huh. Fest, the award for Best Picture is a Golden Lion. Hopefully he made a documentary about the obesity epidemic amongst Oompa Loompas. I didn't think they were that overweight. I call this one Scandals Resort, and it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna list seven public figures who got involved in sex scandals. For each one, tell me if the scandal was a gay affair or a straight affair. If the affair was with a man, press one on your keyboard. If it was with a woman, press two. For each one right, you get $300 to your next campaign. For every wrong answer, the $300 hooker is an undercover vice cop. And there's only 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, let's go. Okay. Pastor Ted Haggard. I don't Owner know Elliot these. Spitzer, I Senator John Edward. No. Congressman Mark Foley. President Bill Clinton. And that was Lindsay. Senator Larry Craig. David Letterman. Eh, I'll take it. That was an affair worth forgetting. Yes, it was. And speaking of affairs, I have nothing to share with anyone here. Isn't that right, Kimberly? Wait, what? What are you talking about, Cookie? Exactly. Wink, wink. Ah, the F is still have. doing his job. Love gross, where my rosemary gross. Which of these is a gross gross? 64 chunky boogers, 144 dirty adult diapers, 256 pus filled maggots, or 500 champagne glasses of vomit? Yeah, no, no. no. 144, though. 144 of something is called a gross. 
But in my opinion, there is no such thing as a gross adult diaper. It's not gross, it's just a natural extension of the very natural process of aging and pooping in one's pants. And thus, to me, soiled adult diapers are not gross, they're beautiful. I'm actually kind of tearing up right now. You know, sometimes there's so much beauty in the world, I just can't take it. Where's the bomb girl? You're wearing them, aren't you? May I introduce Museum of Ein Farts? Okay, okay, enough childish humor. I can be sophisticated too. Which of the following natural landmarks is closest to MoMA, the world famous Museum of Modern Art, home to important works by Van Gogh, Gauguin, Matisse, Cezanne, and countless others? Lake Titicaca, okay. Big Bone Lake State Park, Knob Hill, or the Finger Lakes? <laughs> Uh, I have no idea, but Knob Hill, huh? Smart people choose this. Haha, <laughs> got Mama it. The MoMA is in New York City, and the <clears throat> Finger Lakes are in upstate New York. Whew. If we get any more sophisticated, I'm going to have to turn in my tuxedo t-shirt for a real-life t-shirt. <laughs> Knob. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you're lucky I like saying knob because you've just won a bunch of knobs from Bob's Knob Shop. If you have knob needs, Bob's the man for the job. Enjoy Bob's Knobs. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. I think I will enjoy them. Round one is complete. And you've got a pretty nice score. It's a shame there's nobody here to share it with. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. Okay, we're bringing it on. Up next, Engelbear Humperdink. Okay, so Stephen Colbert of the Colbert Report changed the pronunciation of his name from Colbert to Colbert. And that's how he became rich and famous. So, which character could not follow Stephen Colbert's lead by changing the pronunciation of the Bert in his name? The lead character in Lolita, the lead character in Scott Adams' comic strip, the lead antagonist in Les Miserables, or the lead singer of the song, Doing the Pigeon? Well, Javert doesn't have a Bert. That would be Javert, which is J-A-V-E-R-T, and is already pronounced as Air. You know, two former You Don't Know Jack writers went on to work for the Colbert Report. Which just goes to show that that's a much better job than writing for You Don't Know Jack and this jackass of a host who never brings in donut. Okay, who who wrote this? <laughs> who wrote it? <laughs> I want to start bringing in donuts. This one's called just maybe. Looking Forward to a Pulled Hammy. I don't even like the taste of these fortune cookies anymore. I just have an insatiable appetite for my future. Well, it's been a few hours. Must find out what's in store for me. Well, <clears throat> okay. You will make it to second base with your love this weekend. Hey, how'd they know I love baseball? Well, <clears throat> if I start at home, how far will I make it this weekend? 120 feet, 150 feet, 180 feet, or 200 feet? Two bases, 180 feet. The distance between bases and baseball is 90 feet. Therefore, I'll have to run 180 feet in total. <laughs> And remember what Coach always said, if you're going to try to make it all the way to home plate, just be sure you're safe. Lord, good advice. Very good advice. Take a stab at Rogue Trip. If Sarah Palin were to jump the fence in her backyard on a Monday and land in Russia, what's the most current thing she could do? Read the Sunday newspaper, read the Monday newspaper, read the Tuesday newspaper, or read the Wednesday newspaper? Well, do they actually go backwards? Forward. I'm gonna say they cross the line. Because of the international dateline that separates Alaska from Russia, Sarah Palin would arrive in Russia on a Tuesday. Ironic that Russia is a day ahead of the U.S. considering they're years behind fashion-wise. Fur hats? Come on, Russians! Bucker up for naming your meat. 
My baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My baloney has an Italian name. It's C A P I C O L L A M O R T A D E L L A P A N C E T T A or B O L O G N A. I don't think baloney is actually Italian, is it? I have no idea. We'll go with pancetta. <laughs> Pinchetta is Italian bacon. Yeah. You haven't lived till you've seen a pig with an Italian accent. <coughs> see? Hilarious! <laughs> Want to see the right answer? Mortadella originated in the town of Bologna and is the Italian equivalent of bologna. Okay. It's just like American bologna, but with more hand gestures. Hold me, never let me go. That wasn't far off. Here's one for you. It's the esophagus of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Because a Siberian tiger can eat up to 60 pounds of food in a day, how many one ounce bowls of frosted flakes would Tony the tiger need to eat per day in order to feel full? 120 bowls, 240 bowls, 480 bowls, or 960 bowls? Uh, 960. There are 16 ounces in a pound. 16 multiplied by 60 gives us a grand total of 960 bowls of frosted goodness. Also, tigers don't tend to wear red kerchiefs. They're actually partial to leopard print snuggies. Along with being carnivores, but that's beside the point. That knife looked painful. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press one. 4,000 big ones if you're right, but if you're wrong, you lose 4,000. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Hey, it's not just for horses. Hey who? Hey me? Go hey yourself. Good luck. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea on that one. Hey, y'all. There we go. Hey, Arnold. Never did watch that one. Hey, Vern. Hey, diddle diddle. Say hey, kid. Not that I've seen it pop up a few times by now. No. 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 Hey, Paula, huh? Okay. There it is! And the Oscar for Best Performance in the Video Game category goes to... Sally Field? Huh, weird. You don't know Jack! Interesting. That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? All right, then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceedings? Eh, nah. But I will jump in it. I will jump out so I can jump back in again next week. I'm Lindsay so until then, if you vote for me, I, promise to I leave you all with the commercials all the as I bid you all a fun no farewell. See you next week for more You Don't Know Jack, folks. Will strip all Take care, all. Equally of their every right. Isn't it about time we got America back on track? This November, vote Lindsay St. Simone for fascist dictator. This message paid for by St. Simone Mini Golf and Go-Kart on Route 16. Hi, I'm Garo Stanton. We at Stanton's Rhyming Dictionary rate our product so high, we really feel it's the best rhyming dictionary money can purchase. Other rhyming dictionaries might say they're the best, but we really feel we're better than all the others. You want rhymes? That's what you need. We've got a book of rhymes that's a pleasure to browse through. So check us out. Our dictionary is truly sublime. It's really the only place to go when you need two words that sound alike. Thank you.
Your child is the most precious thing in your life. Mama loves you so much, Eric. And as a parent, you wish you could protect your innocent baby from this cruel world forever. Unfortunately, the real world is out there waiting for you. You didn't make the squad, kid. You throw like a girl. It's not you, Eric. It's me. You're fired. But for now, you can still protect him with the no-surprise Jack in the Box. Hey there, excuse me, uh, but I'm gonna pop out of this box soon. I don't mean to alarm you, but I will be popping out in about five seconds or so, so please prepare yourself. Again, I don't want to scare you, but I'm coming out in just a sec. And here I am, as promised, on time. This was fun. The No Surprise Jack in the Box from the No Surprise Jack in the Box Company, because there are enough surprises in the world. Next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special, it's visual comedian Rich Coolidge. You ever walk into a restaurant and the waiter looks at you like this? And you go like this? I told my mom I was single, and she handed me this. Look at it! If I ever own a poster shop, this is what I'm going to sell. Hoochie Mama! That's next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special. What's wrong, baby? Your bee beard. It's too unruly. I don't love you anymore. No! What do I do? Biz, get a buzzkill beard trimmer, bozo. Huh? Biz, get the buzzkill beard trimmer and shave or trim your bee beard for the utmost comfort for you and your lady. You can have bee mutton chops, a bee handlebar mustache, or a bee soul patch. Hey, your bee beard looks great. I love you again. Thanks, buzzkill. Who makes you look sharp without the sting? Buzz does. Also available, Hive Diver Bikini Wax. I like your hoodie. Where'd you get it? Pack Sun. Oh, well, where's there a Pack Sun? I don't know. My mom drove me. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Tween Conversations. <laughs> Traffic is terrible. I wish there was some way to escape. Now there is. Where did you come from? You can escape reality altogether. Sounds nice, but how? Easy. Start interpreting all the road signs as if they're secret messages to you, or just obsess over the number five. Wow, there are a lot of number fives on these license plates. What could that mean? See that old lady over there in the blue Honda? Get out of your car and start yelling at her. Why? She 